We want to give a shout out to Surfing Jammer. Thanks for watching and just craft it. To see a list of materials needed and printables, visit our blog, AmericanGirlIdeas.com. Start by cutting out the walls for the fruit stand. Just follow the plans and cut it out with a utility knife or an X-Acto knife. And be sure to have adult supervision. I'm using the half inch foam board. Once you've cut it out, you want to paint the outer walls the teal blue or seafoam green and paint the inside a pink salmon. Of course, you can paint it any color you want to make it your own. While the walls are drying, you can paint your attachment pieces. All you have to do is print out the printables I provided, cut them out, trace them on the foam board, and then cut out the foam board. That way it's the exact size you need for each piece. On the countertop, you need to cut all the way to the edge of the paper to make sure the counter is long enough. For the yellow pieces, I'm using a Glidden Lemon Lime Fizz. When you're painting foam board, you want to do thin, quick strokes. You don't want to get any one spot too wet because then it might warp. And for the bread basket, I'm going to paint it brown to match the AG version. Once everything is dry, you can add the printables for the decals. This is the wave that goes on the tabletop. Now I printed them out on sticky paper, that way it'll just stick to the foam board. If you don't have sticker paper, you can print it out on regular paper and just glue it on. Since the menu was printed on sticker paper too, I'm going to fold it in half remove the backing of the sticker paper and then just fold it on so it sticks together and fold it again. Now you have your menu. For the come back soon sign, I'm going to take it off the sticker paper and I'm going to place it on the edge of a recycled paper board and then fold it over. Now I can cut it out and I have a front and a back. Again, if you're doing this on regular paper, you can just glue it onto the paper board. Punch two holes in it so you can string it so it can hang on your door. For the front fruit display, lay all your pieces out like this and watch how I attach them. That way you don't attach them the wrong way with the hot glue because once you glue it together, it's pretty much stuck in place. And be careful with the hot glue. Lay all your pieces out like this and watch how I glue it together so you can glue it together the right way. This is the piece that goes underneath the countertop in the back of the fruit stand and I painted it silver. For the upper storage shelf, lay all your pieces out like this and follow how I attach them. This is also known as the bread basket for the buns. Now it's time to attach the tabletop to the outside of the fruit stand. 
take the tabletop support, mark where you want to glue it, and then hot glue it directly to the wall of the fruit stand. Do the same thing for the tabletop. Mark it, add your hot glue, and press it into place. Make sure you hold it together tightly until it's completely dry. Now you can add your printables to the outside wall. For the brochure basket, just take a Tic Tac container, paint it yellow or the color of your choice, and then hot glue it to the wall. Now the outside of your wall is complete. Now it's time to attach the walls of the fruit stand together. Make sure you have them placed the right way before you add the glue. Add a line of the hot glue and then press the wall into place and hold pressure until it's completely dry. Now that the fruit stand is put together, you can add the countertop on the inside. Make sure it fits snug. Now you can take the lower shelf and hot glue it into place. You might want to mark where it goes before you add it to the wall. Completely cover the back in hot glue and just press it flush to the wall. Do the same thing for the bread basket. Mark where you want it on the wall, add hot glue to the back, and press it to the wall until it's completely dried into place. Again, the same step for the front fruit shelf. Mark it where you want it, apply the hot glue to the back, and press it into place. Once it's dry, it won't move. Now for the doors, you want to add little door knobs. You can just glue little buttons or beads on there. And I have these little binky beads that I found at Michael's, and they look perfect for little knobs. Now there's two ways you can do the doors. You can just hot glue them on the front of the fruit stand so they're always open, or you can add little toothpicks or barbecue skewers in them so they open and close. Make sure to push them down straight into the door so they don't pop out the side. You want to pre-drill the hole with the toothpick on the top and on the bottom. Now to attach them into place, you want to make sure one is almost completely in and one is sticking out. So you can press one that's in all the way in the foam and then with the other one you'll need to get tweezers or something similar to pull it down into the hole that you've already created. And now they open. For the awning support, lay your pieces out like this and attach it with the hot glue. Now that your awning supports are complete, you can measure how long you need your canvas to be. If you want a clean edge, you can fold it over and hot glue it so you don't see the frays on the top and the sides. I left mine on the bottom because I like the look it gives. Now use puffy paint to write the name of your fruit stand on it and to do a cute little design. You don't have to use the same name as Leah's. Once the puffy paint is dry on the canvas, you can now hot glue it straight onto the awning support. Glue the awnings directly on the outside of the fruit stand, let it dry, and you now have Leah's fruit stand made out of foam board. Leave us a comment and give us a thumbs up if you want us to make Leah's rainforest house. And as always, just craft it.